I gotta do what? Gotta trick them, right? I gotta set traps. Um, probably one of the most talented coaches I've ever been around in my life. He wrote where the guy I started compound with. He really talked to our guys a ton about setting traps. I gotta trick this guy. Like I talked about pressuring him and disappearing on my duck yesterday. All right, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm threatening him with the crab right. I'm trying to turn him, but he's so focused on the crab right, he completely forgets about his right hand. Okay, my jam. Half right here. I'm trying to tilt, trying to tilt. He bellies down. He starts to fight up to his face right here. I got drifts. Cross this tilt. Right into my turn. Okay. So again, I'm always thinking next available best option. Okay. Next available best option. Here. Maybe I'm claw. Float, float, float. High hand side kicking. Bottom toe trapping. He bellies down. Need that cross wrist. Cinch it. Diving through the hole, right to my cross wrist tilt. Okay. Maybe you like that two on one tilt better. Perfectly fine. I'm capturing the wrist, no matter what. I want to have this time. Float, float, float. Really trying to get this turn, really trying to. Don't have it. He starts to base up, shakes that wrist. I could go knee scoop and drive this way, or I could pull him back into my crab ride, rotate him off. Okay. We've got a couple options there, right? So I could rotate. Or I could knee scoop. So this guy's giving me a good feel by fighting down off my crab tilt. I'm going to the next best thing, which is wrist control into a tilt. Go.